Hey ya uh, Special dedication to each and everyone who watched the Nina Cabeza live show Watch me so, me go so the million fit every time my music play yet fail uh, if Greetings Proper fix, proper fix Proper fix, I bring you peace, I bring you peace We good to go, good to go Good to go then in a cabeza live show What I gonna do, what I gonna do now What I gonna do, what I gonna do now Everyone, let's get it on Watch the Nina Cabeza live show Everyone, let's get it on Watch the Nina Cabeza live show Bring your wisdom to people In a comfort of their own simple Again, bring your wisdom to people in a comfort of the whole simple What more? What more? Tune in I tune in Keep watching The Nina Cabeza Live Show Yes No problems, no problems, no problems, no problems Yes indeed Greetings Only bit grow it on Mary's neck Head to the flying dragon Catch us good, say that What up, what up, what up, what up to the Nina Cabeza Life show. Wow, I don't even know how many of these shows I've literally done. I thought I started it just as a joke. You know, a friend of mine just sent me a message, saying, oh my God, oh my God, you know, you're really going on with all these, your show. You know, it just started as, you know what, let me just give her a go. I'm always doing live on Facebook. I'm always doing all these things and people tend to like what I want, but then I knew if I started a television show, I had to put the work in because it's not just, oh, today it's Thursday. I'm just going to come up here and just say whatever you want. As you can see, I do prepare my notes, you know, so it's, it's research. It's what do I want to talk about? You know, I just don't want to give you any information because a lot of information out there are false information. So I wanted to give you insights, but also back it up with some stuff and you know as usual you do the research i'm a researcher anyway so it was very easy and very okay so how's everybody's week's been has it really been that week already do you know this week seems to be going quick 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 but before i carry on i just want to advise you know give a word of encouragement to many of you who at this moment you could be sitting at home and you're thinking wow we are almost half of the year and i haven't accomplished anything I set myself to accomplish well I'm just here to tell you that you know what it doesn't matter what you've accomplished or what you have not accomplished but the little that you have accomplished you need to congratulate yourself for it you need to applaud yourself because it is very challenging for so many people many don't speak about it but there's so many people who struggle to get up in the morning there's so many people who's going through so much depression anxiety you name it they have it and i used to be one of those people but i've managed to get myself out of that situation i've managed to keep pushing myself on a daily basis the moment you open your eyes in the morning it means you are alive it means you are allowed to try again so never give hope never give up hope and obviously keep focusing and god should be your strength now today as you can see, the lovely topic there is effective communication. Now, when it comes to communication, there's different variety of things. You can even Google it. You get all sort of information. But I wanted to do effective communication within a family setting, as this is the family lesson. Again, I say, I am not teaching you how to run your family. But I'm just bringing you insight for information which has helped myself and many people that I've known and other things that I've observed that I've applied myself and it has actually worked. So that's why it's called Family Lessons. I'm not the teacher because you are the expert of your family because you're the person that knows how it all goes. But just giving information, it's called sharing. I'm just sharing and signposting because you never know. Some of you may find it useful. So today we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, basic information. Now, there is such a thing called the basic 
communication and as the research has it there's like four type of what they classify as is it they classify it as a basic information so it's listening reading writing and talking so a person who should have a basic communication is you know they should be able to be listening they should be able to be reading they should be able to be writing and talking so those are the four one these are the four way that people can communicate yeah i know right listening is also part of communication this is something that you probably did not know but it really is but i'll get into that a little bit you know further so that's the basic now in the setting of the family home it is important that you listen to every member of your family now the listening is not just when they're coming to you and talking to you especially when it comes to children the most important time to listen is when they are on the phone with the friends or talking amongst themselves it's very key that you should have that ears that listen because that is also part of communication so you should be able to listen to whatever conversation is being done you should be able to listen to what's going on the tones and the body language and all those things so listening is very important in the family setting and reading now reading is very important as well you should encourage your children and as a father and a mother you should also be encouraged to be reading it's very very important and i don't mean reading the newspaper because newspaper sometimes is just information i have a thing about you know the news at the moment but yeah newspaper is not really a thing i will advise people to be doing on a regular basis at home read proper book books that's going to add one plus into you you know book that's good like family books you know one person start with a motivational book something books is very important that you start reading books you need to encourage reading in your family setting now the third one was writing writing is very key now when you encourage writing in the family setting now how do how do i encourage writing in the family setting be spontaneous don't be so boring it's not just about talking you know sometimes you don't have to talk you could just write it i'll give you an incident sometimes my kids they write all these apology letters when they've done something wrong and i stop talking to them they'll be standing there talking to me talking to me and i just wouldn't talk i wouldn't nudge so what they do is they're not okay she's not listening which is part of communication. So they will go and write these long essay <laughs> papers and they'll even leave it to me when I'm sleeping. So when I wake up, I'll have these things and I'll read and I'll read and I'll read and I'll laugh and I'll be like, mm, and I'll put it aside. So that's encouraging writing because it's very important because as they get used to doing that, you are also teaching them how to also learn how to write as they grow up in the education, X, Y, Z. Now talking, hmm talking in the family setting for us the african is very important now we need to stop shutting our children down when they are talking especially when they correct us you know out of embarrassment out of shame we'll be like shut up who you're talking to i'm your mom or i'm your father yes there are some things you need to shut down when they become very rude but there are those where you know you don't need to shut that you need to because when you keep doing that to them what you're telling them is their voice cannot be heard especially when they are saying the rightful thing it's very dangerous if you do that from home because you see a home is where everything starts it's a setting is a stage is is that play stage you know that that field where everything you're gonna be outside begins from there and if everything is being shut down and you know judged and not given an opportunity to grow and express you will become very insecurity you how you build an insecurity inside of you when you go outside and then that's when you see people start falling into drugs and gangs and things because they're trying to earn something that should have been formed in a family setting so these are the four basics i've just given you listening is important allow everybody in your home to be listened to very important starting from the youngest to the old the elders reading is very important encourage them it builds confidence writing likewise confident and they will know if they can't talk whatever issue they have they can write it down that's kind of like what happened to my daughter when she couldn't speak about her abuse she wrote it down and talking again let kids express themselves there's no other home there's no other 
place, a safer place for any child to express themselves than their home. If you are open minded like me and allow them to express themselves at home when nobody is there, no other person is there watching them, speaking to you, anyhow, the one you are not going to be raising leaders. You're going to be raising people who are inferior and always afraid to speak. Okay, so it's from the home setting that you start to divert and guide the way they speak. But for you to start diverting and guiding them how to speak, you need to let them somehow exercise that freedom of speech at home. So that's all I have for you for this particular moment. Now, before I go any further, you know me, I am the queen of research, the queen of bringing information. I had to research and research, and I finally found a small clip, like three minute clip about communication. It made me laugh, it was so amazing, I loved it, but I want you to have a look at it, and then when you come back, then we're gonna talk and get into the more in depth. I'm gonna give you five principles of effective communication. Have a look at this. Freak friends around me like air. 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 Yeah. Like yeah. Dying of false ambition, falling short of understanding you. Is such a thing to waste Whether you hear me or not I cry louder every day to be home Harsh professor with dark complexion, I start the session My architecture was cold as snow and the harshest weather My bars are clever, my heart is dead and it's dark as ever My last endeavour was ripping rappers apart for leisure I feel like I'm about to blow, about to blow. I'm recognised everywhere I go Great friends treat me like I've changed myself you see the video that i had play straight after what i saw was what i really should have spoken about i should have started with it but you know what i was so excited to pass on the information about you know effective communication that i skipped to tell you guys the best news ever this is the month of may next week on the 31st of may which is a friday that mixtape that you've just seen it's a mixtape with the most amazing you know, uh, musicians and artists in the UK who came together and decided 
to bring the you know mixtape together they all were all very much spiritual people and we're all very much in line and most of us know each other for so long and most of us just met each other when the group started and Ferro Media you know I always recommend Ferro Records and Ferro Media they're the one who got everybody together and I think it's a movement that's coming so UK watch out the mixtape is called King and King Guesses and some people are asking what is King Guesses well King is a king and obviously King guesses is like a female instead of saying queen we say king guesses based on the discovery of uh, Femi Iloi who is the CEO of Ferro Record he did the research and realized that queen is the same way of it's sort of like same thing with the other word which I don't want to say and obviously since then he decided to do king guesses which i think is absolutely right an emperor has an empress so a king should have a king guess so it's a beautiful thing and as you can see those were the video you know show to see the video of the songs that's going to be in it's amazing all the songs that's going to be in there is going to listen this album is the album of the year you need it is one of those that every song will cater to your needs. You have the slow jam, you have the upbeat jam, you have the, you know, hip hop jam, you have the whole lot. But one thing I will tell you guys is listen to the words because these are gospel artists, some are, some aren't. But these are artists that are conscious, some are conscious artists, and some are gospel artists, and some are obviously just, you know, inspirational artists so you have to listen to the words so every word on those songs are actually sort of like positively delivering a message to you so that's the album is dropping on the 31st of may so don't miss it it's going to be in all the platform on itunes everywhere everywhere you see naya v that's me that is my artist name naya v is my artist name so you can google me now go naya v and you see all the other songs that i've done and everything it's all there but it's just that uh, because I love music and music has been in my blood for a very long time. So I just do songs sometimes. I just push it out there without having to promote it. But this particular song that's on this one, obviously it was a remix from the Ferro Media. That's why it's there. So check it out, check it out, check it out. Now I'm going to carry on talking now. I want to talk, give you guys the five principle. You know what you have to wait for that communication movie. It's a short movie, but it's so funny and it's lovely. And you get it towards the end. Now, I want to give you guys five principles of effective communication within the family setting. The reason why I keep saying within the family setting, because this is about family lessons. And you can do similar things at work, you know, uh, effective communication at work, effective communication at uni, effective communication, you know, at your company meeting, effective communication at the movie setting. So you can bring it up in everywhere. But... I want people to understand the basic of everything we do outside in the world begins at home. That's what I want us to put all our focus and all our energy in home setting. How we set the children, how we set everything is very, very important. So the five principles of the effective communication within the home setting. The first one I wrote down was understand your self now remember when i say that you know it's important to listen to the children or not just when they are talking to you but sometimes when they're talking to each other and it's important to also allow them to speak now allowing them to also talk what it does it opens up for them to understand who they are now once you understand who you are then you know how you can talk you know it's very so in the home setting you know understanding who you are when you're talking builds confidence and then you have confidence when you go outside and you know who you are. And obviously, you will not be bullied as, as such. You will not be pushed or anything like that. So everyone in the home, from the dad, the mom, and the children, everybody, even if you have servant, even the servant, they're very, very much important to understand yourself first before you talk. Who are you talking as? Are you talking as the father or are you talking as a friend? So you have to understand yourself. If you don't have an understanding of who you are, then what you find is each time you talk, people do not always listen to you. That's because you don't know who you are. Because once you know who you are and you start to speak, what happens is you don't demand people to listen to you. 
you automatically are commanding them. It's like you, you hoose out an energy which commands people to listen through your voice because your voice then comes out so powerful and so confident. Say, you may not see a say it as such, but it's just the energy that will come out of your voice is an energy that is showing that you know who you are and you know exactly what you're saying. So that's the first one, understanding yourself is very important in a family setting. And the second one is understand your audiences. It's very important. You may think, what are you talking about? It's not as if we're out there in the world. Like I said, it starts at home. You start teaching your children to understand you are speaking to dad, you are speaking to mom, you are speaking to your brother, elder brother or little brother, you know, they need to understand the audience of who they're talking to. They can't talk to dad and mom as though they're talking to the elder brother or, or the siblings. They can't do that. You know, they can't, it's just, you have to start teaching them to understanding, you know, this is your audience. I'm walking in front of mom and dad. Okay. I want to ask mom and dad something. There's a tone you will use. There's a way you approach, you know, if you're like my little one, she would just come and start say, smile. You know, when she starts with smile, you know that she wants something. And she'd be like, are you okay? Are you happy? All those questions she would ask, but that's her. That's because she understood who she is and she does things how she wants it. But what about when she goes to her siblings or things and she'd be like, I want this now. Then you wonder how, oh, how different because she identified the audience me and the siblings are totally different. So the audience is definitely different. So understand the audience that you're talking to at that particular moment. If you so happen that you have everybody in there, find a way of talking and limit some conversation, but I'll get into that a little bit more. So yeah, so understand who your audience are. Now, listen actively. Now we have listening on the first basic, but this one I said actively. Now. I will break it down a little bit. What I mean is like what you're doing right now. You're listening to me actively because maybe if I say something, you're, you're there at home, I can't see you, but I'm assuming you're at home going, yeah, you're absolutely correct. You're shaking your head. And that means you are listening to me actively. So you're very much there. Your presence is there. So if I try to deviate from anything that I'm saying, you can cut through and redirect me back into my conversation. And that's why it's important to not just listen, but actively listen. So that is the key as well. So when you're speaking to, you know, your children or yourselves or whatever it is, listen actively. Don't listen to answer. Because that's something that a lot of people do. You listen to clap back, you know, you don't listen actively and actively means listen to what the person is saying you know understand what they're saying whatever it is don't just be quick to answer straight away you know point and show them the yeah watch the body languages and all those things is very important so that's listening actively and then number four is simplify now you have to simplify everything in the communication at home you don't want to be a dictator you know, there are some children who are literally afraid to speak to the parents about anything. Even if it means that, oh, mommy, can I just go and get an ice cream or can I do? They would not come and speak to you because you're just like this soldier from the planet Zorro or something. You know, you're just unreachable. You're just like people can't talk to you. And that's not really nice. So you have to learn to simplify. Simplify everything simply means you know, make it sweet and short, you know, don't do all these long essay and da, 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 or I'm telling you, you know, I come from a background of an African, you know, setting where parents, you know, for some reason, <laughs> always felt that, yeah, you know, talking to you or disciplining you or putting you down in front of other kids or your friends is like, they call it embarrassing you, but really like we saw it last week, it's actually abuse. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is sort of like going because I've been having a lot, a lot. When I mean a lot, I mean I've been having a lot of meetings and which also involved me talking. So my voice is slowly going, but we're getting there. So yeah, so it is really not good to, you know, 
talk to your children in front of other kids, embarrassing them, I think it's not really, really nice because that's a form of abuse and that's just making them feel so insecure and it's not nice. So simplify things simply means say things simple, straightforward. Let your yes be yes, you let your no be no. No matter how many times they come at you, because I have a child in my house, you can say no a million times in a day. And I never get tired of saying no to, to, to them because once I tell you no, you can come in any way you like and they will come after five minutes, after five minutes. I'm telling you, this is literally what I live in my home. And they will keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And I will keep saying no, 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 no. But I later on realize, apparently one of the friends told him that, oh, you know, with my mom, if you just keep going back to him, or to her all the time, and you say this, and she gets so annoyed, and she just say, oh, go on, go on, go on. And, and then, unfortunately, my child thought that would be the case with me. But it's not the case with me. My no, I know. It's simple. I simplify everything. My yes, are yes. You know, and it's not going to change. So that's how you have to be. It's not easy raising children, let alone raising children alone. I know sometimes they're nagging and everything, but you have to understand this way, five principles of doing things, because what you're doing, you're shaping them. Whether you are aware of it or not, you are shaping them. You are teaching that child that constantly keep coming and thing, and you're saying, no, you're putting your foot down. So they're not understanding that when somebody say no, it's no. And I shouldn't push because that's how my mom always used to be or my dad always used to be. So it's very important because they're observing. And see, so if you, they keep coming to you and eventually you turn around and say, oh, go on then, then they know they can keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And eventually they'll say, and what you will find is they can go somewhere out there. And I'm not saying it's gonna happen. And then they end up doing something wrong. And because of the mindset that, oh, this is what I'm just going to keep doing because I did it to my mom or my parents and they always do this, so let me just try it anyway. And then over there, it may not get the results that they got from you. It may even be worse. So it's very important when we are letting our kids to do whatever they want, we have to think when we're doing it now, how is it going to affect them tomorrow when they grow up and they're old and they literally go outside. So that's number four. So let me just run quickly. Number one was understand, understand yourself. Number two, it was understand your audience. Number three was listen actively. Number four is simplify. And then the last one, which is number five, is find a perfect time, which I struggle with a lot of time. I owe up. You know, I'm an honest person. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I shout there and then when really I shouldn't. But these things happen, you know. Oops, do happen. Sometimes... I reach out the wrong timing. But this is something that I've learned. That, yeah, sometimes you just have to find the right, the perfect timing. And unfortunately, the perfect timing to talk or effectively communicate with people may not be the time that you want to do it. And that's another thing that you have to accept. You have to, may have to wait until it's the time for them. And those times may take years, may take forever. But as long as you know that when it's the right time, when you start, then you pour out. Always use the right time because then that way, this is what I always tell people, you know, when you know the right time when to speak because a lot of people, good ideas, especially good ideas, if, you know, a good idea comes at the right time, it is something that people will look into. I'll give you an example that I see this a lot. <laughs> Politician, for instance, you know, sometime when there's like crusades and all these things that people do, and they find themselves, for instance, we go to a crusade or a meeting about human rights, no, not human rights, a meeting about, let's say, let's save our animals, farms, whatever it is in the UK. And then somebody stands up of the feet and say, well, do you know what? Actually, this X, Y, Z wars in X, Y, Z country, and I just want to use this opportunity to say it in front of the TV. That is maybe a good idea, but you're actually not at the right place to talk about it. I was as a mayor of uh, Hounslow, congratulations, Tony, for becoming the mayor of Hounslow. I was at a, in uh, Hounslow, the new Civic, on Tuesday it was. And obviously a lot of people come there, they have their own agenda, but everybody were given an opportunity to speak whatever they had to speak, and I was there representing 
the Hounslow Seniors Trust because I'm one of the trustees. So I spoke irrespective of the Hounslow Seniors Trustee. Whatever issue and agenda that I really want to talk about, that was not the appropriate place, I don't think, to talk about it. But there will be other people that will use that opportunity because you have all the politicians there and all the, the governors there and, and all the, the councillors and everybody's there, the cameras, the media, everything was there. And then you'll just open up and say about something, although it would be a good idea, but it's not the right place. So it's very important to find a perfect time, a perfect place to do that. So I'll give you the five. Again, is five principle of an effective communication at home is understand yourself, understand your audience, listen actively, simplify everything you're saying, and find a perfect time and a perfect place to communicate your good ideas, whatever it is that you want to communicate. Now, before, because today I'm going to finish very soon. So before I go, I'm just going to play now the communication video for you. Have a look at this and I will come back and we say our goodbyes.
<laughs> welcome back did you enjoy it because me when i saw it i really loved it it was hilarious especially when you ask you know do you speak english and then she said nope and there was no sign i'm like nope sorry and i'm like hold on a minute you just say no sorry so is that all english but then later on she says that obviously she's deaf so obviously deaf person a deaf person does not speak so really she does not speak english so yeah see this is something that i wanted to throw out there so you can replay it over and over again and as you're replaying it an exercise for you guys homework have a look to see what sort of you know effective communication did you see there do the people who were communicating did they feel like they understood themselves did they feel like you know they understood the audience and all those things now i'm going to summarize it i'm going to say this are you a good communicator do you have a wide repertoire of skills now if you answered yes to all of these things then you are a very good communicator it simply means you are able to adjust your communication in response to the many variable you face at a given time like we saw in a video he was able to adjust his communication because he found out that she's deaf so he started writing xyz so a good communicator is somebody like myself who's here talking to you guys but if you see me how i talk when i'm in the trust these are totally different things so you learn how to change as you go about your communication well i hope today was an amazing one for you next week is a surprise one i'm not going to say what it is you have to wait for it but you know me i always have to surprise you when i come on the studio right so thank you ever so 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 much for coming in today and tuning on and for all of you who's going to be watching after the show thank you all together but i have a special month next month the month of june all of my shows are going to be in lingala and for some of you who are my french or who are my english listeners i apologize it's only one month let's give it to them you know because it's the month of independence at uh, the democratic republic of congo and i've got a lot of things i would like to showcase you guys about the democratic republic of congo and you get to see me speak the native language that i've learned which is lingala so I've had fun speaking to you today. I hope you enjoyed me today as I enjoyed you. So until we meet again next week, have a blessed blessed day and enjoy the rest of the sun because it's sunny outside. And we're just going to play again the promo. Don't forget 31st next week the 31st is coming out King and King gets watch the promo and I say bye. Big friends around me like air. Big yeah. friends around me like air. Yeah. Friends around me like hell. Yeah. Fake friends around me like hell. Yeah. Dying of false ambition, falling short of understanding you. The mind is such a thing to waste. Whether you hear me or not, I cry louder every day to be home. Harsh professor with dark complexion, I start the session My architecture is cold as snow and the harshest weather My bars are clever, my heart is dead and it's dark as ever My last endeavour was ripping rappers apart for leisure I feel like I'm about to blow, about to blow. I'm recognised everywhere I go Fake friends treat me like I've changed
burning desire to get a little higher Sidestep hell with that patch in the fire I ain't saying anybody is a liar But from African religion they created the messiah Now that's a whole never rap tune Any bits I live I got the booth in the back too Spontaneous poetry Students they call me Wayne But they know it's me What is it with your eyes That making me wanna fantasize I'm dreaming of being somewhere else with you As you get to know me like I'm trying to get to know you and do your sexy style It's just driving me wild Why don't we get a drink And if you want it to the dance floor then you should know I just wanna be there for you Special dedication to each and everyone who watched the Nina Capesta live show. Watch me so, make us so the million fit every time my music play yet fail off. Greetings, proper fix, proper fix, proper fix. I bring you peace, I bring you peace. We good to go, good to go, good to go. The Nina Capesta live show. What I gonna do, what I gonna do now? What I gonna do, what I gonna do now? Everyone. Every time I watch the Nina Capesta live show Everyone, let's get it on Watch the Nina Capesta live show Bring your wisdom to people In a comfort of their own simple Again, bring your wisdom to people In a comfort of their own simple What more? What more? Tune in, I tune in Keep watching The Nina Capesta live show Yes no problems, no problems, no problems, no problems. Yes, indeed. Greetings. One event grew and on Mary's neck. Catch the flying fly dragon. Catch us good. Say that. What up, what up, what up, what up. 